call me the doctor. I'm the head man around here. I'll be your seeing eye guy through the black hole. Beware of strangers bearing gifts. There may be strings attached. And what might be strange for some may be a noose for others. Let me show you what I mean. Check it. It's Yo, crazy. what the fuck? It's, it's a space worm. Right? <laughs> what in the goddamn... What's called? Yo, McDonald's, what is that, dude? That's fucking out of nothing, bro. Yo, it's the... That's the Anunnaki, man. Yo, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's what it's called. It's the Anunnaki, man. It's the Nephilim, bro. They're coming down. Ernie, some of these people have been out here since 2 o'clock this morning, though the aliens aren't scheduled to arrive before noon. But as you can see, the crowd is getting pretty excited as America prepares for its first encounter with space since NASA went bankrupt back in 1998. It's quite a circus. Thank you, Stryker. All right, read that. Come on. Meteor lights up the sky over France, spotted from Paris. All right, so this first one's in France. Blow it up for us. Go ahead. See that thing right there? Go. All right, so that was in France. All right, pull up the next one. Read that. Leaked image of an F-22 Raptor under Project Blue Beam, directed by NORAD, taking out one of the UFO aliens today. Go ahead. Another, I'm sorry, go ahead. Another UFO has been shot down over Yukon, Canada, by an F-15. All right, this is in Canada. Hey, that's not normal. No, what is that? What are those little things? What? It's firing up again. What the fuck? Dude, I have the chills right now. That's crazy. All right, so you got that in Canada. You got that going on in Canada. Let's pull up the next one, please. UFO sightings in Los Angeles yesterday. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? All right, so we had we had Canada, we had uh, France, we had L.A. All right, pull up the next video um, going into the um, the increase in UFO sightings. All right, play that for us, please. ...of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. The U.S. military is now detecting more items in the sky after changing radar settings in the wake of the Chinese spy balloon. The military needs to have a plan to not only determine uh, what's out there, but determine the dangers that go with it. Is this sort of bigger aperture picking up lots of stuff that has essentially been forgiven, sort of you know, around in the skies, whatever else it is, because it didn't pose a threat? Or is it part of something organized to, uh, for whatever surveillance? These unidentified aerial phenomena have been reported for many years without explanation or deep examination by the government. President Biden has changed all that. We are finally trying to understand them better. It is the so, responsibility. Real quick, so, you know, as y'all know, the Space Force exists, and, right. he, and he has another team that's, that's studying this. As we know, Esau knows exactly what they're dealing with. Th what they're dealing with. Right. Exactly. They know exactly what they're dealing with. Go back uh, to the clip. It. Stopping at 126. Of the Department of Defense to be honest with the American public and to use Aero, which has been established to deal with the UAP and UFO issue, to come forward and present the truth to the American public. All right, Jeremy so, Corbell is a So, real quick, it's, it's coming to a point where they can't deny it at all. All right, all right it's coming right. to a point where uh, they cannot no. deny this thing. These, of course, these are the cherry to the most high God. We right. understand. Right. We understand That's that. Right. Uh, give me the one in Psalms 140. Well, no, not 140. 104 and 3. Yeah, that's the one I want. Psalms 104 and 3. Bring it All right, real quick before we dive into today's topic of the day. Read that for me, please. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 3. Go ahead. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. Uh-huh. Who maketh the clouds his chariots. Who maketh the what? The clouds his chariots. These, the, U, the UAPs or the UFOs, God calls them his chariots That's or his right. clouds, all right? That's right. Now, real, real quick, give me Luke 21. Give me Luke chapter 21. I want verse 25. Because you can see by the responses of a lot of those people who were able to actually capture the, uh, the objects, the UFOs or God's chariots on live, 
it was panic. It was it was fear. Okay, read that for us. Luke chapter 21, verse 25. Watch this. And there shall be signs in the sun. Right, meaning what? This is going into that testimony, that gospel. Meaning what? This is showing you that there is a God. And he and he's showing his power on the earth. As much as they want to say, oh, they shot it down. They ain't shooting down no F UFOs. Break it out. Stop it. Out. Stop it. Out. Stop it. You're not shooting down a chariot of God. It's not going to happen. Right. Okay. 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 They would love to think that, but they, they want to tell the public that so it's not uh, extreme panic. Right. And so the people don't lose faith in right. good old America. Right. Okay. Uh, read that again. And there shall be signs in the sun uh -huh. and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, mm -hmm. distress of nations. Right. It was in well, France. It was in different. It was in Canada. Canada. It was in L.A. And these sightings are happening everywhere and more often. And right. it said what? Distress of what? Distress of nations. Right. Distress of nations. They're bugging out because they, they say they can't explain it. They can't explain it. But we're going somewhere with today's, uh, with today's topic. All right. Read on. With perplexity. Mm -hmm. The sea and the waves roaring. Right. It says we're perplexed. They're perplexed saying we don't know. We can't explain it. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Do me a favor. Go to the Oprah clip. Okay. As y'all know, hey, Deacon Isaac did an excellent job. Shouts out to Deacon Isaac with uh, his class. He did like three years ago that's right. uh, with, with the, uh, the UFOs. Yes. All right. Or actually you know the right. identified uh, foreign objects and not UFOs to us. They're the chariots of God. That's right. Okay. And... And the people in them chariots is black. That's All right. So we play this clip right. real quick. Play this clip. I'm talking today to uh, women who say they have been abducted by aliens from another planet. And you, you're going to describe to us what they look like. May I briefly say, I don't know for a fact that they're from another planet. I assume so, but I'm I am dealing with a lot of unknowns. I don't know where they come from. I just can describe what I saw. I don't have the answers. Well you, um, well, you know you weren't in Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> and I wasn't Lord wearing red shoes that I could click together yeah, either. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, so, and they look like? Um, they're, they're humanoid as far as the body, very small um, frames, mm -hmm. about three and a half to four feet tall. And I, I found myself laughing to myself when I saw them because um, I just saw one being, actually. Um, because the skin was very, very dark olive green. So dark it could be mistaken for black. Wait and a I even minute. laughed to myself. All right! <laughs> All right! I just saw one being, actually. Um, because the skin was very, very dark olive green. So dark it could be mistaken for black. Wait and a I even minute. laughed to myself. All right! <laughs> All right! Because the skin was very, very dark olive green. So dark it could be mistaken for black. And so dark it could be mistaken for black. And so dark it could be mistaken for black. And so dark it could be mistaken for black. Right. Right. Ezekiel, Watch chapter this. one and verse four. Come on. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Uh huh. A great cloud. Right. So you see, uh, this whirlwind right here is talking about a chariot or a, a UAP or a UFO. It says, and I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Read. A great cloud. A great cloud, like we read in Psalms 104 and three. This is identifying what that this these are the chariots of God. What are we reading? The Bible. Okay. What the world says that they, they, they have to have a space force and a different uh, a different department to study these things. God is showing us in the scriptures right here. Right. Read verse five. Also, out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Right. So it says out of the midst of the chariot or the UFO, it said came the likeness of creatures. Remember, she said it was humanoid. Right. All right. These are living creatures. The likeness. Read. And this was their appearance. Uh huh. They had the likeness of a man. Right. The likeness of a man. That would be a humanoid. Meaning what? It looks similar to a man, but you know it's not. Right. It's in that form. Go ahead. And every one had four faces. Come on. And every one had four wings. Verse seven. And their feet were straight feet. Uh huh. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. Listen close. And they sparkled <clears throat> like the color of burnished brass. Like the color of what? <clears throat> like the color of burnished brass. Like the color of what? Like the color of burnished brass. Like the color of what? I just saw one being, actually. Um, because the skin was very, very dark olive green. So dark it could be mistaken for black. Wait and a I even minute. laughed to myself. All right! <laughs> <laughs> All right! Like the color of burnished brass. Like the color of what? They said they saw some fall from the sky. They checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green green colored men, uh, not human, with uh, like the eyes were glowing and they did not 
It was not a human being. They said they saw some fall from the sky. They checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green, green colored men, uh, not human. I just saw one being actually. Um, because the skin was very, very dark olive green. So dark it could be mistaken for black. Wait and a I even minute. laughed to myself. All right! <laughs> <laughs> All right! They said they saw some fall from the sky, they checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green, green colored men, uh, not human. So. Did you see it? Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, me and him saw it. What'd you see? It was like a... It was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like around 10 feet tall. Because I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything yeah, land see. in your backyard? or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with lights. Can we go outside? And the I have a big yard in the back. You can see. You can I see a cat over there. No, uh, please, can you check because this piece is not going to let me see. Oh, yeah, I bet. Do you have cameras? Oh, well, I have one camera, but it's down in the, uh, the company. Um, Shalom, caller. What's your question or your comment? Um, I was just wondering. So, do you think that what they shot down was that false or was it real? I mean, I, I obviously, I obviously, I believe that they can't shoot down a chair to the most high. No, nah, that you that they can't shoot down a chair to the most high. There's no doubt about it. But uh, they would try no. to make you believe that they right. can. Now, to right, get into the speculation right. of everything like that. You know, and we're going to touch on the blue beam, the project blue beam, because as, as some of you may have known, that's a conspiracy theorist in itself. But we're going to show you the scriptures. So when it gets into that, I'm, I'm really not you're not going to hear me comment too much because, you know, I, I can't I can't tell you that. But I, what I do know, it, there ain't no way. That they can shoot down the technology uh, of God. Uh, I know that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm standing with that. So this UFO is dripping something or some kind of molten liquid metal or something like that. However, now the military is seeing these things floating in the sky, so they call in an A-10 Warthog who comes in and fires a Sidewinder missile at it. Now watch what happens. This is absolutely amazing. Boom! Sidewinder hits him. You see that nothing happened to him. It doesn't even phase him. Doesn't even phase him. Can you? What the fuck was that? That's right. Get Holy a little hand on that. Shit! Did you guys fucking see that? What the fuck was that? Is that they have straight up normal 1080p color video of it, not thermal vision, but just straight up. What's it look like with a regular camera? Well, it's going to come up here in a minute. That's what's really cool. Is I'm I'm glad we're able to see that what it looks like without the thermal imaging. <laughs> Hey, so they appear know, to be just some, some like kind of balls saw, of energy. Hey, you remember that scripture in, uh, I think it's Isaiah, what is it, Isaiah 58? That said, uh, the weapon shall not, uh, I just said the weapon shall not prosper. What is Isaiah 58? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, <laughs> with Isaiah 58, that's what you just saw. He just stands still and move. Right. Uh, Get that, no weapon formed <laughs> against me. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. Okay. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Go ahead, speak on it. So, what you see at this thing that a missile he hit it, he just stand right there. He didn't move, he didn't budge. He just stand there. The missile blow. The, the guy said, What the hell is that? Yeah, uh, read that. Read that. Norman Bergren. A That's the name. Norman Bergren. Read that. A former NASA engineer talks talks about seven foot tall black people walking out of gigantic mothership. Also, what really makes this case interesting is if you watch the full interview, Norman thinks this race, which drives ships to Earth, links to Earth, links long around Saturn, is making a ring world out of Saturn. All right. So this wow. is. Norman Bergrun, oh gosh, could you put it back up, put it back, please? Put it back. Norman Bergrun, a former NASA engineer, talks about what he what he saw. Okay, so let's play this clip. Y'all got my uh, timestamps for us, right? All right, so it this this video clip is very hard to make out what he's saying, so I need the volume to be correct. 
All right. So y'all ready? All right. Play that, please. Okay, but there are, if there are craft, there are beams. Um, okay, people have asked me uh, about, I call them vehicles, okay? Right. No, I did not call them objects. That was too neuter for me. Okay. Um, I had a Stanford professor say, you ought to call them objects, no, I'm going to they have all of the qualities of a vehicle. Mm -hmm. They can move, you know, they're just like a missile or anything like that. So that much we can say about them, for sure. So okay. stop, stop. So the vehicles, he's, he's talking about the the UFOs or the right. UAPs, okay? Right. Now jump up in the, in the video. So now he's going to talk about what came out of these UFOs. Bring it out. Okay, play that. I think, I think it's uh, the Apollo flight that the bugs and, uh, and Neil were on. Uh, but anyway, there is one image there that shows black people getting off. So people with dark skin getting off. Not dark black. <laughs> Not dark black. <laughs> Not dark black. <laughs> there is one image there that shows black people getting off. So people with dark skin getting off. Not dark, black. Ah, black stop. He said, he, said, he said, not dark. He said black. Right. Hey, run it back. Now, he, like, you can tell the way right. he, he kind of tight. He's kind of tight. He's like, he don't really want to just divulge all this information, right. but he's like, all right, all right, since you asked me, I'm going to just do this and let's get this over with. Right. Go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. Show a little fear too. Mm-hmm. Y'all all right? All right, play that. There is one image there that shows black people getting off. So people with dark skin getting off. Not dark, black. Black skin. Black. Yeah. Were they tall? Yes. Very tall? Yeah. How tall? Do you know? Well, they got up the... Uh, the doorway, I don't know how high that is, but well, what, uh, say, say seven, seven feet would be probably a conservative estimate. Um, have you heard about Clark McClellan's uh, statement about that? No. Oh, you haven't? No. All right, have so stop real that? quick. So Clark McClellan, he's, a, he's another one astronaut who divulged this information and said something very similar to what he said. I think he said either seven feet or nine feet. Right. So that's why she asking us. She's like, hey, do you know who this is? He's like, no. He's like, well, what you mean? He's like, damn. Because what he's saying is the exact same, same thing, thing that Berger Bergeron said too. Man. Now, give me uh, First Chronicles 21 real quick. All right, give me First Chronicles chapter 21, verse 16. Just to show you, you seen in the other clip uh, the, the, the encounter that that lady had on Oprah. She said they were black, but they were smaller. Okay, but now check this out. This is the encounters they had in, in space of what they saw. Right. Okay, read that. Uh, First Chronicles 21 and 16. And David lifted up his eyes uh -huh. and saw the angel of the Lord. And saw what? The angel of the Lord. Read. Stand between the earth and the heaven. Stand between what? The earth and the heaven. He saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven. The heaven's talking about the skies. <laughs> now give me the one in Revelation 19. All right, just to show you how big, how big. These angels are obviously what? The angels that came out of the chariot in Ezekiel. These are the angels of the Lord. They're not aliens. These are the angels of the Lord. They're not UFOs. They are God's chariots. That's right. right. And the people riding in them chariots, they are big and black. That's, That's right. what saved the Lord. Read that, Revelation 19, 17. Revelation chapter 19, verse 17. Come on. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come on, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, mm -hmm. that, that ye may eat of the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains. Now, and, is that the end of that verse yet? This is 18 now. That's, yeah, yeah, we just want 17. We just want, I need you to stay with me. Read 17 again. 
And I saw an angel standing in the sun. Right. We just can't read past that like we didn't hear right. that. Right. Said he saw an angel standing in the sun. Now, right. check this out. Somebody could say, well, that doesn't mean he stood at the whole height of the sun. Bruh, if he is normal height, how are you going to be able to see him in the sun? Right. Right. Obviously, he's got to be gigantic <laughs> in order to make him out in the sun. Right. 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 The hell is this? It's all you gain naysayers out there. Shut the hell up. You know what you're talking right. about. Shut your God is mouth. letting us know. God is letting us know that the angels are black. All right. That means Christ is black. That means that the father is black. All right. Most importantly, these are our protectors. When he say we got guardian angels, these are the men he's talking about. Right. right. These are the angels that he's talking about. That's and right. they've been waiting patiently. Christ has been waiting patiently. He go. waiting for that, that command to say, hey. All right, go ahead and get them. That's right. Right. They're ready for that thing. But Esau knows that too. Don't forget that. That's why they're trying to put out imagery out there trying to say that they can shoot down uh, UFOs, right? right? So don't forget, uh, we're going no, somewhere with this. Not we're going somewhere with this thing. Give me the next one. Give me the next one. The, uh, they should be shooting down. Not, not shooting down. They surround the uh, warships. Give me that one. Yeah, read that. Let me play that. July 2019. San Clemente Island. California, 68 nautical miles west of San Diego. Nine U.S. warships are performing nighttime training exercises in restricted waters. Suddenly and unexpectedly, the exercise is interrupted by an unknown presence. The ships are swarmed by what the Navy refers to as UAVs or unidentified aerial vehicles. Right. So remember the, the guy, the doctor before, he talked about those vehicles. And this right. is this is what surrounded him. Give me Zechariah 5. All right. Why, yeah. why would these cherries, why would these UFOs surround these U.S. warships? Why? Because think about it. Message. Give me um, Isaiah 47. All right. This one just came to mind. Give me Isaiah chapter 47. And give me verse... Start at verse 12. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 12. Come on. St stand now with thine enchantments uh -huh. and with the multitude of thy sorceries. Come on. Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. Right. This is talking about, oh, we got a call? We'll take a quick call. We'll yeah. take a quick call. Hey, Shalom caller, what's your question or your comment? Well, there's no question and there's no doubt. Uh, if you had to watch the full interview of that Norman uh, Bergman, you would have seen that uh, he stopped saying all the things that he could have said, and he died later after that. Mm. But Damn. there's no stop of the angels of the Most High. That's right. And uh, they know, and they got information hid, that there's a media blackout. Mm -hmm. All the stuff that they're talking is a bunch of garbage. But uh, if you were to go to... Uh, uh, Joshua 5, I think it's verse, what is it, uh, 13, uh, and there was an angel of the Lord. My question is, or I need to know this Re read information. It. Read it real quick. Read it real quick. The book of Joshua. Okay, it goes. No, no, no. We got you, bro. Came, we got you. We got you. We got you. We got you. The book of Joshua. And it came to pass. Hold on, bro. We got you. We got a reader. We're going to read it for you, my brother. Oh. The book of Joshua, chapter 5 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. Mm -hmm. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? All right, what's your question, bro? And my question is, as you go on to 14, so he said no, but as the commander of the army of the nah, Lord. No, 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 we got to read it for you. You got another version, bro. Read verse 14 for him. Verse 14. And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord, am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? Read. And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. All right, what's your question? Who was that? That was, a, that was an, an angel. That was an angel of the Lord. You would call him an alien today. And the captain of the, what, what he means by captain of the host? Give me uh, Psalms one forty eight two, real quick. And also, why hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one, at, a, one at a time, one at a time, bro. One at a time. Oh, I'll answer oh, okay, your question. I have no problem, but you know we're still doing a show too, so you, I, you know. I, I know. Okay, all praise. Okay, go all ahead. Right, watch this. Watch this. Psalms chapter one forty eight verse two. Go ahead. 
Praise ye him. Come on. All his angels. Uh huh. Praise ye him, all his hosts. All his what? All his hosts. Right. So this is the captain of the host. That's 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 what he's saying right there. This is the captain of the rest of his angels. So that's that's what that's talking about in that verse right there. But hey, for the sake of time, it's gonna be a longer show today. Normally I take a bunch of but nah, I ain't gonna do that today. So let's keep going. Thank you for calling in my brother Lord's will maybe next week or something like that. All right. No problem. My brother. All right. All right. All right, where, where is that? I was reading Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 47. Give me verse 12. Watch this. Where was we at before this? We were, No. That's where you were. No, I, I, call, I went here for a reason. I went here. Oh, oh, with the warships. The chariots surrounded the warships. Right. This is why. Watch this. Isaiah 47, 12. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 47 and verse 12. Come on. Stand now with thine enchantments. And with the multitude of thy sorceries, mm -hmm. wherein thou labored from thy youth. For wherein thou labored from thy youth. Meaning what? America was established on witchcraft right. and sorcery. Right. Right. That's how they came to claim to be the most powerful country on the face of the earth. Bishop just went over the how uh, Washington, D.C. is mapped out. All of that, all of the, uh, what is it called? So, oh, symmetrically, it's laid out. Uh, with an occult symbol, with the hexagram, right, right, right. all right, showing you what? That's America, according to the scriptures. It's uh, It was foundation was in 1776. That's what it's talking about when it says, from thy youth. And it says, from thy youth, they've been engaged in a multitude of sorceries. Now, why did that chariot surround the U.S. warships? Back to Zechariah 5. Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. All right, watch this. Zechariah chapter 5 and verse 1. Come on. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes uh -huh. and looked, and behold, a flying roll. A flying roll. This is that cloud. This is that chariot, that whirlwind. Go ahead. And he saith unto me, uh -huh. what seest thou? Mm -hmm. And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Read. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Right. This is the curse, and that's why you see... Uh, these sightings occurring more and more and more often and more often right. and of course surrounding the US warships we know that America is the greatest thief on the face of the earth according to the scriptures you know? All right, hey, real quick, let's go to the next article. Let's go to the next article. Speculation has run rampant as to their appearance, the size and shape of their craft. Oh my God! Literally, Godzilla spacecraft have just materialized nowhere right over our heads. This is absolutely amazing. And this is literally an unbelievable sight. As I look to my left, I see Vice President D'Amato and Secretary of State Buchanan approaching the microphone. For those of you who are concerned, President Taylor, of course, is safe and secure in an undisclosed bunker until it's determined whether or not these aliens pose any threat. Hello. Can you Hello. See no. I'm kind of curious now. I want to. I want to know if there's aliens. I look at the iPhone. I say, was, me, I, I want this. Uh, like where did you? Where did they go? Well, they say that. I'm gonna show you. Do you have a dirt backyard? Can you show me if there's a... And I'm sorry, did you see them go anywhere? No. No? You didn't? You saw, did they probably go that way? Hey, did you guys... This might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Yeah. We got a call, and one of my partners actually said that they saw it too. So, if you happen to see any, uh, like I'm not BSing you, if you see any. Footage? No, like if you see any, like little, well, not there's little in this couple, case. Um, they're, they're claiming uh, eight to nine foot tall green beings that were in their backyard. Sounds crazy, but you never know. Uh, the, your neighbors, your fine neighbors over here. Uh, but again, I would normally discount it as probably not These real. Neighbors right here? Yes. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. So if you guys see anything, especially in your backyard, please call 911. We'll come over, okay? All we just, right. it might, right. and we're hoping that it's maybe just some kids pranking or doing something stupid. 
They said they saw some fall from the sky. They checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green, green colored men, uh, not human, with uh, like the eyes were glowing and they did not, it was not a human being. So, yeah. Uh, just, um, what's up? Yeah, there's multiple people in this home. So, we already checked. Huh? Uh, more than one. So, if you see anything, just uh, give us a call, okay? Hope you have a good night. Take care. Your neighbors are still going around looking, so. Did you guys have, I'm sorry, no surveillance, no video? The camera don't belong to us. That's from the company camera. So. The camera don't belong to us. That's from the company camera. The landlord oh. got a camera on the post here, over here on the street. Well, they don't see it. Oh, yeah, the, the landlord has it, so we don't have access to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll ATL the area and we'll, we'll be around here for the night. I'm so. going to the hotel, man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. All right, man. We well, appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see I wanted to find some place. aliens. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, if those nine foot beings come back into your backyard, you call the police and we'll come back here. Okay? Somebody, yeah. If things come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> that, I ain't dealing with that. Somebody call NASA. Tell them stop it. I'll try to find a way with you guys. You're on your own, bro. All right. Take care, guys. Have a good one. All right, Slim. Let's just regroup over here, okay? Yeah. Okay. Go. Going around and around. Look at the wheel. Hold on. I feel like a marshal. I feel like a... I told my neighbor what we saw. He's like, no way. <laughs> he's like, get the security cameras. I gotta see. Yeah. I don't know. He told me not the uh, police uh, officer. Before that or after that? She saw yeah, we, we were on a call by the Target right down there. Uh, um, and the bonds. And she saw... Well, she no, thought it was a shooting star fly in the there. sky. She saw something. I believe in these things. I don't believe, but, Mom, I swear to God, so we're not oh, putting oh, God in this, you know? I see a big light but I don't see it. Well, I know, I, I don't, I, I'm not, I mean, I believe I'm stuff, I don't know, but I'm listening I'm listening to their stories, like, I'm back there with, like, chills on my arms, yeah, like, yeah. it's creepy. You guys got the chills? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, bro. Why am I the only one who's like, okay? It's weird. Just the fact that our partner saw something at the same exact time. Your neighbors are still going around looking, so. I don't know. Did you guys have, I'm sorry, no surveillance, no video? The camera don't belong to us. That's from the company camera. So. No, the post, the one of the post. There's one, there's one back there, but there's one. Yeah, the landlord has it, so they don't have access to it, but oh. someone else has access to it. So yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll ATL the area and we'll, we'll be around here for the night. So. I'm going to the hotel, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you. But, all right, man, we appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see anything else. All we there. ask in return is the delivery to our vessels. Five days from now, every child, woman, and man in your nation with at least 2,500 milligrams of melanin in their skin per square centimeter. What the hell is melanin? Put more simply, in trade for solving all your most pressing domestic catastrophes, we are asking for every person in your country that you would classify as black. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, we are not. What are you going to do? Well, that does not concern you. We give you five days to decide. And the offer is non-negotiable. We will not try to coerce you in any way. Yet, 
I hope we can do some business together. Thank you. My name's Casey Kasem, and welcome to Alien Trade Referendum. Just say... No! Oh, boy. Can you imagine life without jazz? No! Or without the blues? No! Or without rock and roll? No! Well, that's what life would have been like in these United States without the contributions of African Americans. Hey! If this referendum passes, and we vote to send dark-skinned people up into outer space, Tell you one thing, you can forget about ever seeing another dream team again. And I'm taking all my scissors with me, too. Because there's no telling what kind of electricity them aliens are going to have on them ships. Because you know us black folks, we don't like arriving nowhere on nappy headed. So you really think they're going to send us away, huh? <laughs> and I told you the one about the American dream? No. That's with all the niggas swimming back to Africa, with a Jew under each arm. <laughs> You're outrageous. But you know, Piggy, we could fight back. Like the Palestinians. Rocks and guns. Nigga, please. I'm like I'm gonna get myself killed just to stay here. I just hope they got them little bottles of Remy Martin on the flight. Got to have my Remy Martin. Oh, Remy Martin. We'll have whites on their knees begging blacks to stay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get out goodbye to our dark friends and neighbors, we say hello to a new era of American peace and prosperity. For World News Now, I'm Stryker O'Rourke. <laughs> Every bargain ain't a bargain. America kind of let the brothers and sisters down. Let me see if I can call them aliens back. I'm going to tell them we're having a one-cent sale. They can get the rest of y'all for a penny. The divine is beyond the power of words to define. But some people think that if you name it, you can claim it. When that happens, don't get caught in the middle. That's about to happen to this young priest. He's about to get caught in the middle of the cosmic slop.